Hello, hello, hello. Hi, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to Rocha Explore. Muy buen día, tarde, buenas noches. Cuando estés viendo este video, bienvenido a Rocha Explore. A un nuevo videito donde los vamos a llevar al pasear. Uno de mis lugares favoritos aquí en la ciudad de Nueva York. Yes, you guys, we're here in New York City. And I'm going to take you to one of my favorite places. Yes. You guess, Cathedral of St. John the Divine. Por supuesto, la Catedral de St. John the Divine. And before we start this adventure, this exploration, I want to invite you guys to help me out. And don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel. Please share it with uh, your friends, family, whoever you want to do it. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. Y por supuesto, antes de empezar esta aventura, esta exploración, te recomiendo que por favor me ayuden con su suscripción a mi canal, den sus likes y lo compartan porque significaría muchísimo para mí para que motivarme para que siga adelante con este proyecto. Vamos a empezar. Here we go. The cathedral is located at 1047 Amsterdam Avenue between West 110th Street, also known as the Cathedral Parkway, and 113th Street, in Manhattan's Morningside Heights. The Cathedral West front entrance is in the line with West 112th Street, the New York Mount Sinai. Yeah, the hospital and the campus of Columbia University are nearby. Independientemente de lo que sea lo que tú creas, ya sea en una en un Dios, ya sea que crees en um, el universo o en, el, en un espíritu como tú gustes, no hay ningún problema. El hecho que los traiga una iglesia es porque es más que una catedral. Esta catedral cuenta con galerías dentro, así es, galerías dentro de la catedral. Son eventos que usualmente son para el público, pero también tiene eventos privados. Tiene conciertos de música, tiene exposiciones, tiene um, activistas que normalmente y usualmente y most of the time están ayudando al, a la comunidad. No nada más aquí en Nueva York, pero alrededor del mundo. Es interesante, ¿no? Sigamos explorando. The cathedral was founded as a center of intellectual life and leadership. From the beginning, this has been a place for social and political activists, for the exploration of ideas, and for community in the widest sense. As times change, the conversations change. What does, doesn't change is the effort to see, understand, include, and most of all, to list. What are you going to find here? You're going to find the Textile Conversation Lab. You're going to get information from the American Poetess Corner. You're going to get the highlights of the fabrics, arcs, exhibitions, information about the value of sanctuary, civic engagement, etc., etc. I invite you to come and visit the Cathedral Church of St. John Divine. The word fabric In this context, means every single material element of which the cathedral is composed, from the stones and the brick of the building to the works of art, dating from the medieval to contemporary periods, that adorns its interior at the 11 acre close up which it, it is inside. The great bronze doors cast by Bergelin of Paris, who also cast the Statue of Liberty. Interesting, huh? Art has always had a place in churches. The eye and imagination presenting and interpreting beauty is an act of devotion. Art exhibitions span centuries, celebrating the creativity of 17th century to modern painters and everything in between. And yes, you can find it here at the cathedral. An expression of the cathedral's founding intention to serve as a platform for the urgent issues of our times. Enter the conversation. It's a discussion series between the dean and world of community leaders, thinkers, journalists, and activists, focused on such pressing issues as a kinship, environment, and afterlife. 
Through these conversations, the Cateria hopes to encourage and empower individuals to be agents in a positive social change. Some questions and answers for you if you're wondering about this cathedral. One will be, what kind of church is this? St. John Divine is a Episcopal church. It's the Cathedral Church of Episcopal Diocese of New York. Yeah. Is the cathedral largest church in the world? St. John is the largest cathedral in the world, meaning a church that is also the seat of bishop. How old is the cathedral? Well, construction of the cathedral began in 1892, making it over 125 years old. Hmm, pretty young, right? La importancia y el tan gusto que tengo yo en presentarles esta catedral es porque ofrece diferentes cosas y actividades que a todos ustedes les puede gustar. Tiene conciertos, como lo he dicho anteriormente, vienen orquestas muy importantes que vienen a tocar aquí adentro, que hacen los uh, conciertos gratis y por supuesto hacen eventos privados, que el costo es el, el mínimo. El arte que se maneja y las ideas de cómo presentan a uh, sus artes, sus textiles, sus poemas, sus artistas, etcétera, etcétera, son muy especiales y los hace muy únicos para, para la gente en general. Si planeas visitar, puedes hacerlo entrando a la website y te ofrece la oportunidad de tener una, una visita privada o una visita en, al público. Por supuesto que te recomiendo que lo hagas en la mañana para que puedas recorrer toda la iglesia, toda la catedral en este caso, y lo puedas disfrutar sin ningún apuro.
just a friendly reminder guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to share and don't forget to give me your thumbs up thank you so much and you're watching road to sport Hey chicos, les recuerdo que para que sigamos en esta aventura necesito que me ayuden con su suscripción, que den sus likes y que compartan este video. Se les agradece de corazón, ya saben, aquí en su canal Rocha Explorer.
Llegamos al final del recorrido de esta exploración. Muchísimas gracias por su apoyo. Gracias por suscribirse. Gracias por su like y por supuesto de compartir con todo mundo este video porque estamos aquí para divertirte, para entretenerte y espero que hayas disfrutado de esta visita. Como siempre se despide David de Rocha Explore. Hasta la próxima. Se les quiere. Chao, chao. Thank you so much, guys, for watching Rocha Explore. We just finished a little exploration. I hope you guys liked it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I'm hoping that you guys are going to help me out with your sus uh, subscribing to my channel, of course. I give you my, your little thumbs up. Uh, and, of course, sharing with your friends and family, whoever. It doesn't matter. Just share it. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Um, Here we go. Another video and I'll see you to the next time. Okay. See ya. Thank you. Bye-bye.